the last album that I have is Marvin Gaye's You're the Man. Um, it was supposed to come out in 1972, but it never did because of, well, Marvin got upset. He got mad at uh, Barry Gordy because of the single You're the Man, which Barry Gordy didn't want to really release because he was afraid it would piss off some of um, some of his conservative um, consumers, white folks. But it is really, really good, and I'm sad that we did not get a chance to hear this back in the day. Man, I, it's climbing up the ranks as one of my favorite Marvin Gaye albums from The You're the Man to The World is Rated X. If you have anthologies, you already know these songs, you're familiar with them. They've been put on numerous compilations and best of and stuff like stuff stuff like that. But anyway, uh, but there's some of the other songs that I don't hear that I really, really like. Um, I think Salim, Salam Rami did a really good job on the remixes to My Last Chance, uh, what he did with Symphony. Uh, I love the Christmas songs over here. Christmas, uh, I Want to Come Home for Christmas, which uh, he wrote with someone for the Vietnam uh, uh, POWs. Uh, that one is really, really good. Now, Woman of the World is dope as shit. Um, I'll give my life for you. This whole thing is a banger. And I think it would have done well if he would have had a chance to release it back um, back in the day. But unfortunately, he did not. Uh, for me, some of the standout tracks on here, because it was so different from what Marvin was doing, are the uh, Try It, You'll Like It, You Are the Special One, We Can Make It Baby. Noticeably because they didn't really sound like stuff that Marvin would do. It had a very blues type feel to it. And I was wondering why, and come to find out, it's because another dope artist from back in the day that some of you really need to get familiar with if you're not, wrote those songs, Willie Hutch. And man, it, it made me long for Blues Marvin. I really wanted to hear what a blues type of version of Marvin would do, what more collaborations with Marvin would sound like, uh, just like he was supposed to work with Barry White, but he was killed before they got a chance to even record anything. But nevertheless, man, this thing is really, really great. And uh, just getting ready to do this, I've had it on repeat a lot. And uh, like I said, man, it's, it's climbing up the ranks. You're the man, an unreleased album. When I first saw this, I thought that it was nothing but a bunch of, um, you know, I didn't just put something together. That's what I thought it was. I was unaware that it was supposed to be an actual album. It was actual songs that he had ready to put out and release. And I'm so thankful that we got a chance to hear it. And um, and it's great. I, I just thought that there were just vocals that he had and people just put beats over them. Mainly because of the remixes that uh, Salam Remy did. But anyway, you guys have to listen to it. It's incredibly, incredibly dope. And, uh, and quickly becoming one of my favorite Marvin Gaye albums. And, um, and that's it. We're at the end. We're done. The only thing left is a live album, which was already on one of the deluxe editions, so it's really not much to that. But, um, but yeah, we're at the end, and that will conclude Marvin March. <laughs>